Don't count the days. I, I made loads of content for the NoFap sub, subreddit years ago, and I was saying don't count the days because I almost feel as though when you're counting the days and you're staying in this trap, it's always on your mind. And the NoFap community, they they obviously don't want you to leave because they're benefiting. You know, why would an organization want to cure you? There's no profits in that. There's no money in that. So, like, they want you to count the days to keep you trapped, to be like, oh, I hit my highest streak. No, it should just become a lifestyle. Okay, like, why would the why would the NoFap owners, the community, etc., want you to arrive, find NoFap, and go, oh, cheers, guys, see ya, and quit? Like, they want you to be counting the days. Oh, I hit my best streak. I relapsed. Just get that shit out of your mind, okay? I haven't, I have no fucking idea what number I'm on. I haven't counted the days for years, okay? I could probably make an estimate in years, but I just, I don't really care. Because what I did is I made it part of my lifestyle. I was like, I want to be one of those men who just sees it as disgusting, who just wouldn't do it. It's just not an option. I, I always pictured like James Bond and I was like, can I imagine like actual Daniel Craig? I was like, can I imagine him at home pulling his trousers down and just, like, I wouldn't want to imagine that, but can I picture him doing that? Can I picture him at his screen just fucking jacking off? I was like, probably not. He's probably too high level for that. And I was like, so why would I do it? Doesn't really make sense, does it? Like I can't picture top level men doing it. I can picture them going out into the world and actually finding a real woman or women are just coming to them so often that they're like, yeah, sure, come around tonight. And they're finding that they don't have to. So that was, what, that was my first tip, guys, okay? So just don't count the days because when you count the days, I feel like you get stuck in a trap and you also reward yourself. It's like with diet, okay? If you've had like a solid month eating clean and then somebody said, do you want a beer and a bit of cake? You might be like, eh, yeah, I've been eating good for a long, long time. It's okay with diet because you can kind of just jump back on. It's only one meal. You can do, The next meal can be clean. You can go to the gym. It's okay. It doesn't derail you. But with porn and masturbation, one single relapse and it's not the end of the world. Of course not. You can just jump back on and go again, you know. But at the same time, it does fuck you up for like three, four, five, six days, okay? It's hard to like get back in that rhythm. You like, you lose something, you feel shit, and then you're going, damn, I need to get my like 30-day streak back up. And that, psychologically, I don't like that. I think it should be, you lose that streak, but you didn't know how many days it was anyway, because it's part of your lifestyle, and then you just jump back on, and now you're back in that lifestyle. Because otherwise you're like, I can't wait to get back to 30 days. I felt great at 30 days. You feel as though it's almost like a bar that's charging. Oh, at five days, I'm nowhere near me at 15 days. You know, at least you should just be like, I'm a certain person who just doesn't do it. I occasionally fuck up or relapse, but I'm the type of person who just doesn't do it. That's my mindset. I'm going to get straight back onto that mindset rather than I need to get back to the day. Otherwise, you're just wasting like 15 days before you reach your old target. And then, like I said, you reward yourself. Like you hit 16 days and you go, oh, that's my highest ever. I can relapse. Do you see what I mean, guys? I just, I don't think it's a good idea, okay?